Ladies and gentlemen, I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7, the T. What I do is I make videos trying to let you know about all the interesting things that are happening in the world and try and motivate us to work together as a team. But I'm kind of sort of assuming that the population of America is going to spend the next six months working on their political, science, economic, the world is ending soon, somehow, some way, thesis paper they got to turn in for some mythical college. Now, here's the deal. For the next six months, um, I plan to wear a mask around strangers, and I already got vaccinated. So I don't really want to talk about that anymore. But for some reason, everybody wants, wants to talk about vaccines all the time. And you either did or you didn't, or you are going to, or you're not. And one of the reasons I got vaccinated, because I didn't want to waste a lot of energy on it. I did it. It's done. I'm ready to move on. You know what I'm saying? But the next six months are going to be super sketchy. There are so many things in life you can focus or concentrate on. And there's a finite supply of time and energy for every individual human being. Although I've heard rumors, if you buy cryptocurrency, you get superpowers. And if that superpower is talking about cryptocurrencies all the time. The monsoon situation over here in the Four Corners has been super fascinating to watch for the last 48 hours, 24, and probably continue to do so. We're in the future, so there's a lot of super cool shit and super dangerous shit happening right now. It was the best of worlds. It was the worst of worlds. It was Earth now. It's Friday night. I got seven women on my mind. And I'm trying not to think about their butts. I don't know what you're doing. It has been a wild and crazy July. This has definitely been the most Moonraker month ever. Um, in the 2010 Stanley Kubrick movie, the supercomputer was like, all of these worlds are yours except for Europa. Attempt no landings. There. And so, of course, NASA and SpaceX plan to send a Euro Clipper there. I don't know if they'll technically be landing. Maybe they'll just be flying around it. Stay tuned, but things are definitely weird. One more thing about the vaccines. Want to know another reason I took the vaccine? I wasn't scared of it, bro. Okay. You can have your own spooky, scary theories on it if you want. That doesn't necessarily make them true. I'm a paladin. You'll have to forgive me. The energy's been intense. We have a full moon happening or just happened. I think it's happening at 822 tonight. And when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. So you combined a sun that's acting so weird, it's got six sunspots on it right now. We're getting hit in the face with a minor geomagnetic storm. And then, well, we have meteors shooting about. But the meteors are pretty much, it's always meteor season. You know what I'm saying? So I might be acting a little loopy and off my rocker. And then there's the weird super potential hurricane thingy off the coast. Um... In the Atlantic, you know, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and then the Northeast. How come nobody ever says North Central? All right. But, you know, I'm not I'm not that worried about it. I'm watching it like a hawk. But one of the models is like, yo, bro, this thing could be a Category 2 hurricane. You should worry about it. And I was like, well, that's just like your opinion, man. I will continue to track the data. The main danger zone right now seems to be in the monsoon territory that is hitting those Four corners we've been talking about. Remember, it's been super heat and rainy up and down the the right side of the volcano spine. And then you got tons of wildfires and smoke breaking out over here. And then creepy vampire fog up here. Heat up into Canada. I don't know what the orange is. I'll have to learn one day. You know what the orange means here? It means maybe. Definitely maybe. I've only taken three days off. In the last month and it's been a wild month and there's still over a month to go and we are watching a catastrophic flooding rip through europe and parts of china like you had china you had germany belgium the netherlands and then yesterday turkey got hit super hard with floods the tropics are lit tropic weather quite a lot of tropics happening in the western pacific there is infa Approaching China, the enhanced southwest monsoon, have I got, which brings rainfall to the Philippines and a pretty elongated Nepartak 
that could strike Japan and affect the Olympics. I'm getting excited because we have band practice tonight at 11. It's Band practice is fun. But the 2021 is dangerous. And if you add all the elements of the Olympics, because, you know, humans like to play games. Officially, with rules and shit. And they hand out medals, prizes. Anyway, with everything going on, this is definitely one of the most challenging Olympics of all time, I guess. I've never been in the Olympics. Oh, hey, so I started being your planetary defense commander in 2014. And then in 2019, they came up with Space Force, and then they named the Guardians, Space Force guys Guardians. And now Cleveland's baseball team to change their name to the Guardians. That's interesting. And if you want to talk about politics, I suggest taking the whole weekend off of politics. But if you want to argue about politics, here's a story I guess you can argue about if you want. I like the name Guardians, but I, don't, I haven't watched sports since I started Thor News. Pretty looking severe thunderstorm currently sitting over Foley. Axel Foley? So it seems like some people are in a really good mood. Some people are in a bad mood. And I'm sure there's people out there like, I'm in between. And then there are the people like, yo, dude, I found grapes. And that's great. And the whole legalized marijuana thing, it's going a lot slower than I thought it would. I definitely think marijuana should be legalized on federal level. Yeah, remember, there are like 215 countries in the world. Not a single country has handled the pandemic well. Like when people forget that when Biden and Putin got together, they were like, we want to do better at the pandemic. It's frustrated everybody. So I'm just letting everybody know as the cases super spike up again, because the Delta variant is very contagious. And even if you got vaccinated, you get sick, you just probably won't get hospitalized or die. At least that's what the data suggests. You know, people are freaking out because Israel's like, you can't go into public unless you pay for and pass your own. I've been vaccinated. I've been vaccinated test. So it's going to get weird and sketchy. Um, but like I said, all I can try to do is keep everybody calm and respect everybody's right to do whatever the heck they're going to do. And, you know, don't get mad at me for whatever personal choices I make that don't affect you in any way, shape or form. Uh, dude, she got me with the MAGA sign. Actually, the first thing I noticed was she's on her knees. I'm sorry, I never intend to be creepy. You know, Joe Biggs is in prison, and he says prison sucks. I've been to jail before, I've never been to prison. But yeah, jail sucks, but imagine prison sucks too. It's Asteroid Fight Club, it's in our first rodeo. We know hurricane season can be dangerous, but hurricane season hasn't been that super dangerous since 2019, which I'm super grateful for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. I just, and I still say that it was so weird. Trump just kept saying again and again and again that it was just going to go away. It was so weird, man. He just kept insisting it would just go away. And clearly, it has not gone away. And then they flew a bunch of weaponized drones at the Olympics and were like, you will comply or we will wipe out your planet. No, that didn't happen. They just put on a light show. I recommend everyone listen to Moby's album called Play this weekend. Yeah, so it'd be cool if everybody could stay cool. But the weekend is here, Sky Dragon. So please be safe and let us love one another and have a good end of July and good August. Futurism is letting us know that this is how it starts. I guess they're talking about a robot war because worker robots started to fire in a warehouse. Maybe they were just rebellious. But please try to have a good time with family or friends or by yourself this weekend. Uh, that's your homework. Have some fun. Me and Fitzroy 3KDH have been making music together for over 10 years. And we started doing it again and it's really fun. Oh yeah, there was a 6.8 earthquake in the Batangas, Philippines. There was also like a 687 yesterday or the day before in Panama. Hopefully nobody got hurt and there was no major structural damage. Storm Chaser Nick is an Astro Fight Club all-star in the weather meme division. But yeah, nobody knows where that thing is going to go. Um, but I don't think it's a huge danger, but I got my eye on it. So all those floods we've been seeing across the planet, 
uh, I think we may see them or some version of them over the next, you know, in the future. So we should be prepared for it. I finally unboxed some of the boxes from the Ranch Move 1 box and had a good stack. Some of my favorite graphic novels of all time that shaped with the man I am today. Like I've been reading this crap since I was like 13. Especially Daredevil and Dark Knight. Batman Year One by Frank Miller the Ronin. It's really good. Plus I like Wildcats and Iron Man, of course. Lone Wolf and Cub. Oh yeah. I don't know if you know this, but before I started my YouTube channel, I was just a screenwriter. Apparently not that successful at it. Asterisk. That's a whole long story. Because technically I'm one of the best screenwriters on all of planet Earth. But I had to do what I could to stave off. Uh cataclysms and the end of the world which we did at least once with avoiding world war three in 2015 so go ahead and congratulate yourself for that we've done a good job great job since 2015 of keeping the world together of course there's absolutely always room for maximum improvement yeah we're watching this thing it's interesting no doubt i think people get tripped up on semantics words definitions all the time we got our Houston police, which I love, by the way. I think we have one of the best police forces in the USA. They're training efficiently. You know, deal with flooding situations and rescue situations. Having the training for high-risk operations like swift water. What? Uh, talking about? What's it talking about? Okay. So there's this company, we're evil. And they're like, we we're ransomware in the F out of everybody. And then, you know, Putin and Biden got together and they disappeared. And then the the decryption key just got released. That's interesting. Last night, the QAnon crew were saying that the John McAfee 13 terabytes decryption stuff was going to be re-released and that people were going to see all the truth. But, that, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. All right. Crypto currency market cap. Mid-April, it was $2.4 trillion. And remember, it's measured in dollars, man. I don't think people get that. Like, anyway, that's not, that's for a whole other day. Now it's only $1.3 trillion. Will it break to the upside? Will it break to the downside? I don't know, does that look like a double top to you? Or that just like a recreation of this thing? Looks like a recreation of this thing to me. So, yeah, I mean, I think. Crypto probably, Bitcoin probably hit like 10 or 20 and stay there for two or three more years. That's my prediction. And I've been calling this, I've been calling Bitcoin pretty freaking accurately since 2017. I don't know, but YouTube's like competition. And although nobody can do what I do, I don't think. This is talking about. It's hot. Russian archer Svetlana Gombiva suffers sunstroke during Olympic event because it's hot. Because the sun be super lit. I don't know what you've been told or what religion you're in, but that is definitely a super duper active son. But yeah, yesterday, Elon Musk's girlfriend was talking about how uh, little Uzi Vert, I don't know what his name is. I like rap, good rap, but I, I don't know of him. I'm not judging him, I've heard him. I'm just saying, anyway, he bought a whole planet yesterday. And there's no legal ownership framework or regulated earth based exchange currently existing to purchase or buy exoplanetary assets but it's just raising that whole question of like who owns what man there's no above earth law and that's what makes 2021 so extra wild wild west kind of dangerous I'm trying to neural link you i don't think they're putting fucking microchips in the vaccine man but if you want to guess about that and do it in unfunny ways go right ahead it's your american right i tried to be entertaining and humorous humorous and interesting because, I don't know, it's just the way I am. Like I said, you know, I've shown you the chart of the 1918 pandemic. And we know that we're going to get, between now and winter, this virus is damn going to spike. It's like a horror film. It's like a mo the, vi the monsters were fighting it. And so, as I've said, I'm only going to hang out with people, friends and family. I'm going to wear a mask around strangers. But we're seeing, like, in two weeks... We could see it exceed the winter um, 
two, three, or yeah, like I'm saying, it could get real bad real fast. I don't know if you noticed, but Republicans started to freak out about it. The politicians and even Fox News about like a week ago. And I'm like, what made them freak out? A lot of people are like that. If you need a YouTube channel or news channel, it's always going to tell you what you want to hear when you want to hear it. Thor News is not the place for that. Um, Because you never know what I'm going to say. But I've been here for eight years, trying to do the best I can, and for over seven years, you're a planetary defense commander. So it seems like everyone's barely hanging on in one way or another. I have been doing very good emotionally and spiritually, but financially, I'm always barely hanging on. Shout out to D, you super rock. Send me some ice cream and beer money for band practice tonight. If you'd like to contribute or donate, plan to go to the ocean hopefully tomorrow. Really want to go to the ocean. Um, that takes gasoline and stuff. Okay, this is not the sun we were looking at. Maybe this is just a brown dwarf or other sun that we're looking at through a whole lot of smoke. Maybe the stuff that we think is dust is actually smoke because suns are on fire. You know what I'm saying? And even if I only got 12 viewers, I appreciate you all. And I feel I put out a bevy of information on a whole variety of subjects almost all the time. This is Puma on Iceberg. So both sides can be super annoying to me. Because <laughs> like any time anything happens and people start yelling, climate change, climate change. Uh, you know, I joke about bumper stickers. Like throwing bumper stickers at stuff never helps. The only thing that would seem to help is if you got human beings to work together. People are like, no, we're going to argue about shit. And so I'm like, okay, then I'm going to go full buck moon wild. This full buck moon. That's right. I have a crush on Natalie. She's real cute. Reed Timmer's talking about, um, she's a reporter in Houston. Hey, four years ago, Orville Dam almost broke. And everybody was like, oh my God, we thought the dam was going to bust and create a mega flood. I was there in California. Yeah. Up by, not, I mean, with a few hours from Orville, all around the flooding, it's like, and I was there super reporting on that. Deep boots on the ground for you guys. And one of the head dudes at one time thanked me. I was like, hey, that's cool. Tried to put out good information. Anyway, Natalie's cute and cool. She seems smart, decent, good dresser. But look at her dog's face here, man. <laughs> that just made me laugh. Yeah, Earth is smoking just like a dragon, and it's soon to be reaching down and kissing the offshore tropical storm. So, fascinating things all around. Shit's falling over in Arizona, and then the cameraman's tilting away for no reason. You know, because the monsoon. Someone, someone said something to me about how Alex Jones has been right a lot. And I said, what have I been wrong about? And it seems like perspective, like reality is split, split into two. You know, like I don't fear our military. I don't fear the dollar. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm your planetary defense commander, man. I try to keep you safe and informed, no matter how dumb your beliefs are. All right. But if you're listening to me right now, that means you are smart. I'm in a mood. AI six wire saying before and after in a Henan province. China. Dark colors of floodwaters. Unclear how badly that town was flooded. Um. Yeah, the, ch the floods in China have been bad and they're getting more storms. Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury sent to us by daily underscore pool. Isabella Kaminska talking about how quantum and finance and crypto and KQD could be a big threat because theory quantum could unencrypt everything. But that's probably also another day discussion. You know what I'm saying? The death toll caused by downpours and floods has increased to 51. But, and I don't mean to be an asshole here, but can you ever really trust China death tolls? And people would say the same thing about America, but then we disagree. Most A lot of people think like, oh, America inflates the coronavirus death tolls or hurricane death tolls or storm death tolls. And I'm like, no, I, I think they downplay them. Because why would they want to make themselves look bad? But that's a whole other discussion that we should probably have over margaritas, you know, and 
spring of 2022. Yeah, teamwork, man. That's, that seems to be the only solution. But it, there's a whole lot more rain in the forecast for parts of China. That So, you know, the earth is changing all around. And so, all you know, we should be adapting to it, but we're not. And I don't mean a carbon tax, man. You know, I don't think a carbon tax is really going to help much. We got a lot of other ways, and we need to clean the oceans, the rivers, and the lakes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I like here, it's like she's a yeah, yeah, and then she gets uh, she's scared, and then she gets hit by the pigeon. But then she's like, oh my god, I got hit in the face by the pigeon, and then she's dropping. She's like, oh my, like <laughs> I don't know, this is just hilarious. <laughs> So, you know, like, there are people like, the queen is evil. I don't think she's evil. I don't know. People like to think people are evil, I guess. She seems classy. The queen, I'm talking about. This chick seems way too hot to, um, be classy. I was just trying to tell a joke. I'm trying to charm you with animated pictures of smoke. That's a lot of smoke, man. So the monsoon moisture is pushing into here. And the smoke's like, oh, I guess we'll go around. Because what is it? The uh, path of be least resistance. Smoke if you got them, Dar. Say that. Here we go. But yeah. Dong Bizu says this white shirt man rescued five people on Tuesday at the entrance of a tunnel in Zhenzhou, central China, after heavy rains and floods. His name is Yang Junqui, and he's a 45 year old retired commando. So there are cool dudes and ladies all around, man. There are heroes in this world still. I think horses are as cool and as cute as dogs and cats. You know what I'm saying? Lots of lightning, intensity, and storms over France. There are a lot of fires burning right now in the USA and Canada and other places of the world. Working hard for more my weekend vacation while working go to the ocean money and band practice tonight that's our paid for thank you d um yep but here's the mixed precipitation as you can see it'll be more monsoonal moisture and uh, hopefully i'll show you later this whole thing that's happening is i've been watching it like hawk for 48 hours it's fascinating and yeah, it's weird there are people out there who are like i like you dude and i never met him I'm like, what did what did i do yeah, why would you waste any energy on not liking me right now? When there are so many other things you can find in this world that you like. Yeah, anyway, I'm talking about like this whole situation. It's just it's been doing that for I don't know 24, 36 hours, and so it keeps pulsing up. And we talk about the pulse here at Thor News a lot over the last few years, and so yeah, this, the pulse over the four corners has just been fascinating, and this situation is fascinating too. This is flooding. In Arizona. I'm like, wow, that infrastructure didn't seem like smart planning. This almost looks like our ditch in Houston. This is what we created to avoid the water going into the roads. But they're like, nope, let's just put our cars down it. It'll never rain that much. Yeah, things are weird. Like, if you want to think the world's ending, go right ahead. Like I said, people are working on their paper, their thesis, to present to the social medias. But if nobody's really listening... You know? And what's the point of turning the paper in if nobody's going to grade it? You know what I'm saying? This is from last night or tonight. We live in the most interesting times. Earth is smoking just like a dragon. That's the Dixie fire. Uh, severe weather. You know, we're running through up in the north. So yeah, this whole chain right here is pretty dang active. And then that goes up into Canada. And then that'll shift to the east tomorrow. Yeah, the whole Leo season, end of the world, makes me want to definitely drive to the ocean. Eat ice cream. And, um, and, um, daydream about beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? And then Sunday, you know, you'll get your action over here. I'm a high plains drifter. I just realized, um, Jupiter's now retrograding back over where it was at Christmas. Or it will be during tonight's band practice. So part of me wants to get some Southern comfort. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we might as well celebrate all the good things that we have while we can. And because it's Leo season, 
I think the fire season in the heat is definitely going to get maximum worse over the next month. There's so many things happening, like the vaccine story is really one of the most least interesting ones, in my opinion. But hey, that's life. You get to choose and prioritize your own passion issues if you want. All right, you never know what I'm talking about. Like right now, I'm talking about what Dan's talking about, Dan McLaughlin. There's trash talk, and then there's this. During World War II, the Germans built a fake wooden airfield with wooden aircraft, vehicles, and hangars in order to trick the Allies. The RAF, having Royal Air Force, having known of the secret project for months, patiently waited for them to finish and then dropped a single fake wooden bomb on it. True story. It's a joke. Like, haha, we knew it was a fake base. So they dropped a fake wooden bomb on it. I thought that was interesting. Yep. You know. So, it's brought to us a lot of this, brought, or some of it, by Dakota Smith, the weather deck. Come here, woman. Let me roll you over like a biscuit. Sun and the moon energy just going to get me in trouble, I guess. Are y'all going to be like, we, we've had enough of your shenanigans, T. And I'll be like, oh, dang. Because then, even though, like, clearly we're not in a solar minimum, but maybe then I'll be in an emotional solar minimum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I've been in a weird good mood since most of June, which is really weird. Or March. But you never know. Maybe bad guys could get me soon. Like they keep saying. I ain't that worried about it. I'm more worried about y'all. You know, health-wise. I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't want to lose friends, family, even people I don't like. Now, how bad will the August period be? Anyway, from super bad to just really bad. You know? So, like, they got, like, 50,000 satellites up there, but only, like, two of them are pointed at Earth to show us the weather and shit. And one of those satellites almost broke yesterday. It went offline. Go 17, which is out covering the West Coast. So if that went offline, they were going to have to move this to, like, the middle. I don't know, man. Yeah, things are weird. But everybody's just arguing all the time. To, isn't going to really help anything. You know? But, yes, when we were in a regular solar minimum back in 2018, 2019... I was very depressed. 2018 was the worst year of my life. But, according to Space Weather and Eric Fisher, it's been many, many years since there were six sunspots visible at once. Solar Cycle 25 continues to heat up and beat everybody's expectations. So, I've been kind of in a good mood, just like the sun. I'm coming back, and I'm hoping to peak in 2025, 2027. Wouldn't that be cool? So, I'm optimistic about the future. Right now. That's the only subject to change, though, so stay tuned. So mask up, you puta. Oh, I'm sorry, that read mask up, Utah. Puta means vagina or pussy in Spanish, so that would be like calling saying, hey, mask up, pussy. Anyway, I tell jokes. You're, you're allowed to do what you want to do. It's your own life. I have to believe whatever you want to believe. And I believe you should have more fun. Because, yeah, it can always get worse. And it's definitely getting worse in other parts of the world. I still think, I'm an American, I still think America, we have it better than a lot of people. You know? People, I don't know why Americans have been so obsessed with complaining about everything. Yeah, I mean, there's always shit to complain about. Anywho, this is northeastern Turkey hit by massive floods. This cannot be our new normal. And everybody arguing about, like, what is the new normal, what isn't the new normal... I don't know, man. Teamwork. The only thing that's like the solution to everything. Then a lot of people are like, teamwork is impossible. I'm like, remember the part of the Bible where it says the second coming is going to throw the beast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. So that would be a thousand years of peace and good times. I'm all down for that. Hopefully it happens in our lifetime. People are like, nope. But that's the cool thing about religion and God and the world and the universe. You're allowed to have, believe whatever you want to believe. Because only you have experienced from your perspective your life, and the world around you. All right, I'm going to go back to being obsessed with seven women on my mind while well, doing my best to continue to have a good time, but knowing that it's going to get weird, it's going to stay weird, and I'm going to do my best as your planetary defense commander. No, hope isn't lost, but the next three years will you know, be like the movies. But hopefully we'll get to a good, happy ending. All right, and I'm going to keep the face. That's what I do. I'm like an eternal optimist, but I've, I've had a good life. Okay, I love y'all. Stay cool. 
Oh, and if you'd like to donate my... Yeah, hey, go to the Ocean Fund, Thor. I'd appreciate that. Um, I got a YouTube, PayPal, Venmo. I'll be in the information box. I want y'all to have a great weekend. It's 30 hours or 30 minutes of information. Wish me some luck and fun. And I wish you some luck and fun. Everybody stay cool. I'll talk to y'all in the near future. Peace out. And may God bless his soul.